Playing dress up is a standard part of childhood, but the fun doesn't have to stop once you become a grown up. Woo! Let's go. So tonight, I will be unmasking. Guaco Caliente is gonna tear you apart. Some totally banging looks. You ready to rock it? Let's do this. And bringing to life. Well, 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 well. Some truly awesome fashions. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're dressing up next on First Look. It's fierce, it's flamboyant, and it's fabulously fluorescent. I'm talking about Lucha Vavum, a pimped up version of one of Mexico's most raucous and dramatic sporting events. Lucha Libre. Oh, I think I'd see Del going down. And the woman responsible for giving the Lucha its vavoom is co-founder and producer Rita D'Albert. What is Lucha Libre? It's Mexican mass wrestling. Yeah. It's so much more fun than American style wrestling. They fly and flip. It's super acrobatic. It's really funny. Yeah. It's really entertaining. Fast paced. It's a lot going on here in bright colors. Yes. <laughs> What's Lucha Vavoom? We took Lucha Libre yes. and we threw in the girls and that's the Vavoom. We'll kick it off with an aerial act or a dancer. Yeah. There is tequila being served. And also during the matches, we have these really top-notch comedians do commentary over the wrestling. So Lucha Lucha Vavum just became its own thing. It's so funny and bright and happy, you can't help but fall in love with it. But this sport is just as much about the wardrobe as it is the warriors. And in a matter of hours, I will be undergoing the ultimate transformation from lady to luchador, as I prepare to take to the ring against the notorious Magno! But before the spandex comes the schooling. First of all, we're gonna teach you how to get into the ring. Whoa! Jump over the ropes. <gasps> I thought you were gonna like go through one of these little no, guys. No, no, no. no. You're gonna Wait, do a can little fancy. That? That's not bad. Just dip under here, push. It was kind of like a crawl like. <gasps> Much simpler. That felt good to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, second of all, you gotta learn how to walk in the ring. Be strong, walk tough, and then show your opponent you're not afraid of them. So, good. walking in, I'm get your leg, no, no. <laughs> a little arm action. Woo! <laughs> you gotta be ready. I was gonna ninja kick you though. Am I allowed a ninja kick? You can do everything. That's why it's called Lucha Libre, which is wrestling free, freestyle. Ah! This move is very popular in Lucha Libre and it's very painful and effective. It's called the chop. You get a very loud sound, very painful if it's executed correctly. So, why me? Go ahead. You just want me to smack you? Go for it. Try it. You won't hurt me. <laughs> what do you think? It had a nice sound to it. What about the sneak attack? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're down! That was pretty good. Down. Oh. The way you wrestle is very dependent on your character. So if you were a Technico, it means you're technical. Reverse. If you are a Rudo, maybe I can't out-wrestle you, but I will cheat. I'll grab your hair to release ah. the hold. Stomp your foot. That's Rudo. Rudo. That's the bad guy. Technico is good guy. How important is the costume to your character? It's the most important part of your career because the costume identifies the person that's behind it. Yeah. Like my name's Magnus, something big, something magnificent. Without the mask, I'm just a normal person. So are you allowed to take your mask off? No. Never. It is the ultimate disrespect. You want to keep your mask in your identity at all costs. Yeah. The great El Santo was buried in his mask. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Do you want to be buried in your mask? I'll decide that later after, after, I, uh, after I die. So with the mask being key to this sport, let the transformation begin. Ooh, what's this? So this one's super hot with flame. A little flameage action? Yeah. I'm kind of into that. And it's got spaces for your pigtails to come up sure. the top, so it's cute. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take some of this. A little belt action. I'll be back. What are you thinking? So hot. Ooh, I love it. The flame. Nice. Yes. Perfect. So what is your character called? Yeah, I'm liking the fierceness, the flameage, I'm, and I love guacamole. Me too. So I'm kind of thinking, 
guaco caliente. I love it. It's hey. perfect. Yes. All right, guaco caliente. I think you're ready to go show those guys how it's done. I think I am, honey. Adios, <laughs> chicolita. Let's go get it. Now you have a mask. You think you got this? Guaco Caliente is gonna tear you apart. This is checking a different box, for sure. Ah, oh, yes, I am guaco caliente. Coming up, this drumming business beats me. Awesome. Hi, you know yeah. what I mean, that? Ooh, nice. <laughs> is vital in creating a sense of uniformity. There's dance, team sports, and of course, drum lines. Go! Go! And there's no one that performs this favorite collegiate pastime better than the USC Trojans. Go! And with drums and dress in perfect harmony, it's time for me to either fit in or stand out. So this band, one of the oldest organizations on campus. Mm -hmm. Been around since the inception of the university. You guys have done some serious profile stuff. Some serious stuff. The 84 Olympics, you've got the Hollywood Bowls, the Academy Awards, the Grammys, Coachella two, three times, the dance with Fleetwood Mac. It's nonstop. We've got the greatest uniforms. We've got the sound. Yes. And you know, we're pros. Today you're gonna be having me march to the beat of my own drum. That's right, not just one drum, five drums. Whoa. You could stop at one. But why not? Well, why not? Let's go to five. You seem ready to go. You've got the attitude. Mm. Are you ready to yell? Yes. Then you're ready to go. But before I undergo my Trojan transformation, I need to get with the rhythm. And who better to give me my marching orders than Keldrick, the drumline's teaching assistant. So have you ever played these instruments before? Well, my father was a drummer. Okay. okay. Um, so I've seen drums. You've seen and them. And I've done a little tappy tap with the hands. Perfect. So like gripping the sticks, is there like special way to hold on to them? Right. So your strongest force is gonna be right here. Yep. And then anytime you're playing, you just have to keep your hands just facing up. So Wow. We're going somewhere. Okay, <laughs> nice. yeah. Are your forearms like they're, they're, They bulge, they bulge. They bulge, <laughs> yeah. I like that. So we are gonna work on uh, one of our cadences. Is that like beginner level here? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, so sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. So now we're moving on to the next part. We just go here. Yes. Yeah, I love that. Too natural. You know natural. what I mean? That, ooh, nice. <laughs> you can think of some words if you want to put them in together, something that you want to sing to yourself. Eggs, crackers, cheese, and fresh fruit. Want to try that? Eggs, crackers, cheese, yeah. and fresh fruit. Yeah, so let's try to put them together now. So that's essentially the, the cadence in a, in a nutshell. Um, I'm not feeling fully confident, but... I don't think we have much time here. I think mm. I actually have to look. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get out there pretty soon. The band will be waiting for you. Yeah. Good <laughs> yeah. God. But before I meet up with the band, there's a few crucial steps left, like testing out the weight of this bad boy. That is half jam. And meeting back up with Jake to help me get into the Trojan spirit. The band uniform. Yes, the iconic band uniform. The look has evolved over the years, but the red-dyed ostrich plume and trademark shades are unmistakably Trojan. 
Oh, and as for the drum major's outfit, it was originally part of the Centurion costume from the movie Ben-Hur. USC is Hollywood through and through. It's all about the costume, honey. Time to unleash the diva behind the drums. You ready to rock it? Let's do this. costume really makes you feel a part of the band and it kind of helps with the drumming in a weird way too. You're taking on this persona and it gives you confidence. Having everyone wear the same costume, play the same rhythm and do the same moves is really a cool feeling. I mean you're performing as one. <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. That yeah, was a good job. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. You are now an honorary member of the USC Drumline. Well, honey, a bee's paying tuition. All right, I heard that, heard that. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to send you off in true USC style, so after you. All right. Now that's what I call an exit. Coming up. Elvis is in the building. Oh my goodness, honey. Yeah! Las Vegas, the city of sin and ironically, the marriage capital of the world, where lovebirds get hitched and Elvis impersonators have a home. And at Graceland Chapel, couples come from all over the world in search for that special moment, curated by the King of Rock himself. This is where the magic happens. Yeah, I've heard. So you've been doing this for 20 Tw years. 20 years out here, yeah. Oh my gosh. The basics to become the King of Rock and Roll is you have to have the swagger, the attitude, you have to have the moves, can't be stiff. You gotta stay loose. You'll, you'll feel it when I'm do, when you were doing the music. You just gotta yeah. you shimmy. Ooh. You know how to shimmy. Oh yeah, I know how to shimmy, honey. Yeah, I shimmy jazz every hands, day. No jazz hands. Woo! No. <laughs> and in the spirit of fools rushing in, I'm joining the Elvis ranks and helping some crazy kids get hitched. But first, do you have any sort of a, a costume? Costume. Well, can I borrow one of yours? Uh, you know what? I got a guy over here in American costumes who'll size you up and hit you. Rocket. My size? Your size. All right, should I do this? Look at you. Uh, wait, the shimmy's good? Or yeah, just like all that, kind of. Mm. Oh. There oh. you go, look at that. All right, I'm just going to head over to American Costume. Do it, honey. Yeah, honey. Ha, ha. Woo! This is the Elvis section. Wow, Marty. Yeah. Well, what do you think of for me? People do small sizes like this in the men's. But for you, I have the women's Oh my styles goodness, look right at here. this. I yeah. love the rhinestones. The Elvis look is not just a costume. It's an attitude, a performance, a lifestyle. And when you put it on, you can't help but feel all shook up. Oh. Marta. Did you fall from heaven or what? That's right. I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. Watch out. You need the wig. Here, here try these on. Oh, so it's going up, Marty. See it? See it happening? And then the scarves. This is very important, you know. He'd have two or three or four scarves on. He'd throw them out to the audience, you know, Special as he said. Special little saying. lady. Oh, yeah, everybody oh, got yeah. one. It was great. Do I look great? You look wonderful. I'm feeling like Elvis. Ta -da. <gasps> oh, my goodness, honey. Yeah. Whoa, look at you, honey. Hey, look. Honey. How'd you feel about this? <laughs> you look fantastic. That's, yeah? that's great. Man, I love it. So let's talk about what we're doing. I mean, we're going to be a part of like people's lives. Like That's the thing here. This is their special day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I say never take it lightly. To you might be another wedding, but to these people, this is really a sacred thing, you know? We came today to renew our vows. Our first wedding was 400 people, so we wanted something that was a little bit more relaxed and in and out, and it's Elvis. <laughs> You know what? Those glasses are good, but I, I got a better pair. I got a pair with sideburns. Look at those It'll babies. It'll keep your ears warm, too, in case I'm, it gets dry. Right? Get a little extra cushion in there. That's right. All right. Yeah, I think it's time to rock and roll. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, give me a well. Well, 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 well,
for the big moment. Do I have that special TCB and shimmy in my hips? I hope so. One thing's for sure though, love is on my side. Who gives away this lovely bride today? The king of rock and roll. Very good. Thank you, Tani E. Step aside. <laughs> Marriage is two hearts with one love that grows greater through the years and is treasured above all else. Justin, tell her I promise. I promise. To always love you tender. To always love you tender. And never leave you at Heartbreak Hotel. Never leave you at Heartbreak Hotel. Your turn, honey. Tell him I promise. I promise. To take you as my hunk of hunk of burning love. Yeah. To take you as my hunk of hunk of burning love. And always love you tender. And always love you tender. So on behalf of the Grace of Wind Chapel and a suit that I wear, as well as my buddy Tiny E. Uh -huh. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss your wife, my friend. All right, Tiny E. Do your thing, man. Take him down the aisle. Well, oh, hey, 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 hey. Brenda, thank you so much. My pleasure. That really touched me. That was just such a really cool experience in there. People love it, and you're, you're part of their special day. They won't forget you, Tony E. Tony E. No will I. That's right, honey. Tony E. Viva Las Vegas. Thing, All right, baby. Do it. See you later. Oh. Be good. Oh, yeah. This town loves you. Woo! This town loves you. <laughs> Coming up, what's so kawaii? Kawaii, what's kawaii? Kawaii means cute in Japanese. Oh, kawaii! <laughs>
So now that I'm ready, fully Lolita out, it's time to hit the streets, ladies. Right. <laughs> Let's see what people think of this. <laughs> Well, I am dressed up as a Lolita. These are all my Lolita friends. Say hi. Hi. What do you think? I like it. Do you like, like it? it? Would you want to dress up like a Lolita? Yeah. <laughs> you think so? It's pretty fun. Lolita! That was cool, right? Yeah. To be honest, I was totally ignorant to what a Lolita was. Showing up today, what was cool and unexpected was really the sense of community that they have. They support one another and help each other look glamorous, and I wasn't expecting that. It was, it was quite a nice surprise. So there you go. Dressing up is a powerful form of self-expression. It denotes individuality as well as uniformity, character as well as community. So own your look and embrace the inner and outer you. See you next week.